Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid is an action-adventure stealth video game produced by Konami Computer Entertainment Japan and released for the PlayStation in 1998. The game was directed, produced, and co-written by series creator Hideo Kojima, and serves as a sequel to the MSX2 video games Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, which Kojima also wrote and directed. Metal Gear Solid follows Solid Snake, a soldier who infiltrates a nuclear weapons facility to neutralize the terrorist threat. From Foxhound, a renegade special forces unit, Snake must liberate two hostages, the head of DARPA, and the president of a major arms manufacturer, confront the terrorists, and stop them from launching a nuclear strike. Cinematic cutscenes were rendered using the in-game engine, and graphics and voice acting was used throughout the entire game. Metal Gear Solid was well received, shipping more than 6 million copies, and scoring an average of 94 one hundredths on the aggregate website Metacritic. It is regarded as one of the greatest and most important games of all time, and is often seen as the game which helped popularize the stealth genre. The commercial success of the title prompted the release of an expanded version for the PlayStation and PC, titled Metal Gear Solid, Integral, and a remake. Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes was later released for the GameCube. The game has also spawned numerous sequels, prequels and spin-offs, including several games, a radio drama, comics, and novels. Gameplay The player must navigate the protagonist, Solid Snake through the game's areas without being detected by enemies. Detection is triggered by the player moving into an enemy's field of vision and sets off an alarm that draws armed enemies to his location. This also triggers alert mode and the player must then hide and remain undetected, at which point evasion mode begins. And once the counter reaches zero the game returns to infiltration mode where enemies are not suspicious of Snake's presence. The radar cannot be used in alert or evasion mode. In addition to the stealth gameplay, there are set-piece sequences that entail firefights between the player and enemies. To remain undetected, the player can perform techniques which make use of both Solid Snake's abilities and the environment, such as crawling under objects, using boxes as cover, ducking, or hiding around walls, and making noise to distract enemies. An on-screen radar provides the player with location of nearby enemies and their field of vision. Snake can also make use of many items and gadgets, such as infrared goggles and a cardboard box disguise. The emphasis on stealth promotes a less violent form of gameplay as fights against large groups of enemies will often result in serious damage for the player. Despite the switch to 3D, the game is still played primarily from an overhead perspective similar to the original 2D Metal Gear games. However, the camera angle will change during certain situations, such as a corner view when Snake flattens himself to a wall next to an open space, or into first person when crawling under tight spaces, or using certain items such as the binoculars or a sniper rifle. The player can also use the first person view while remaining idle, to look around Snake's surroundings or see what's ahead of him. Progress is punctuated by cutscenes and codec, as well as encounters with bosses, to progress. Players must discover the weaknesses of each boss and defeat them. Play controls and strategies can also be accessed via the codec radio, where advice is delivered from Snake's support team. For example, the support team may chastise Snake for not saving his progress often enough, or explain his combat moves in terms of which buttons 
to press on the gamepad. The codec is also used to provide exposition on the game's backstory. Upon completion of the main story, a result screen is shown after the ending credits, which displays the statistics of the player's performance. The player is evaluated with a code name based on the number of alert triggered rations used and enemies killed throughout their playthrough, along with the total playtime, saves, and continues used after a game over. There are a total of 12 code names for each difficulty level, with the best possible rank on the hardest setting being Big Boss. In addition to the main story, there's also a VR training mode in which the player can test out their sneaking skills in a series of artificially constructed environments. This mode is divided into three main categories, each consisting of 10 stages. After completing all 30 stages, a survival mission is unlocked in which the player must proceed through all 10 gun shooting stages in a row under a 7-minute limit. Characters The protagonist is Solid Snake, a legendary infiltrator and saboteur. During the mission, Snake receives support and advice via codec radio. Colonel Roy Campbell, Solid Snake's former commanding officer, supports Snake with advice and tactics. While he initially keeps a number of secrets from Snake, he gradually reveals them. He is joined by Naomi Hunter, who gives medical advice, Nastasha Romanenko, who provides item and weapon tips, Master Miller, a former drill instructor and survival coach, and Mei Ling, who invented the Soliton radar system used in the mission and is also in charge of mission data. The player can call her to save the game. The main antagonist of the game is Liquid Snake, leader of a now terrorist splinter cell of the organization Foxhound, and genetic counterpart to Solid Snake, an elite special forces unit. Foxhound contains experts specializing in unique tasks. Members are Revolver Ocelot, a Western-style gunslinger, and expert interrogator whose weapon of choice is the Colt Single Action Army. Sniper Wolf, a preternatural sniper. Vulcan Raven, a hulking Alaskan shaman armed with an M61 Vulcan Torn. From a downed F-16. Psycho Mantis, a psychic profiler and psychokinesis expert and Decoy Octopus, a master of disguise. Other characters include Meryl Silverberg, Colonel Campbell's niece, and a rookie soldier stationed in Shadow Moses who did not join the revolt. Dr. Hal Emmerich, the lead developer of Metal Gear Rex, and the Ninja, a mysterious cybernetically enhanced agent who is neither an ally nor an enemy of Snake, but does oppose Foxhound. Plot The year is 2005, six years after the downfall of Zanzibarland. A renegade genetically enhanced special forces unit, Foxhound, has seized a remote island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago codenamed Shadow Moses, the site of a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound threatens to use the nuclear-capable mecha, Metal Gear Rex, against the U.S. government if they do not receive the remains of Big Boss and the ransom of $1 billion within 24 hours. Solid Snake is forced out of retirement by Colonel Roy Campbell to infiltrate the island and neutralize the threat. Snake enters the facility via an air vent and locates the first hostage. DARPA Chief Donald Anderson. Anderson reveals that Metal Gear Rex can be deactivated with a secret detonation override code, but dies of a heart attack. Colonel Campbell's niece Meryl Silverberg, held hostage in an adjoining cell, helps Snake escape. Snake locates another hostage, Armstead President Kenneth Baker, but is confronted by Foxhound member Revolver Ocelot. Their gunfight is interrupted 
by a mysterious cyborg ninja who cuts off Ocelot's right hand. Baker briefs Snake on the Metal Gear project and advises him to contact Merrill, whom he gave a PAL card that might prevent the launch, but he too dies of a sudden heart attack. Over Codec, Merrill agrees to meet in the Warhead disposal area on the condition that Snake contacts Metal Gear's designer, Dr. Hal, Otakan, Emmerich, en route. Snake receives an anonymous codec call warning him of a tank ambush. Snake fends off the attack from Vulcan Raven and proceeds to the rendezvous, where he locates Otakan. The ninja reappears, and Snake realizes it is his former ally Grey Fox believed dead. Otakan agrees to aid Snake remotely using special camouflage to procure information and supplies. Snake meets Merrill and receives the PAL card, as they head for the underground base. Merrill is possessed by psychic Psycho Mantis and pulls her gun on Snake. He disarms her, and defeats Mantis, who informs Snake that he has a large place in her heart. After they reach the underground passageway, Sniper Wolf ambushes them, wounds Merrill, and captures Snake. Liquid confirms Snake's suspicion that they are twin brothers. After being tortured by Ocelot, Snake is confused to discover Anderson's body in his cell. Seemingly dead for days, he escapes, makes his way up the communications tower, and fends off a helicopter attack from Liquid. As he emerges onto a snowfield, he is confronted again by Sniper Wolf. He kills her, devastating Otakan, who was infatuated with her. Snake continues to wreck his hangar and is ambushed again by Raven. After Snake defeats him, Raven tells Snake that Anderson was in fact Foxhound disguise artist Decoy Octopus. Infiltrating Metal Gear's hangar, Snake overhears Liquid and Ocelot preparing the Rex launch sequence and uses the PAL card but this unexpectedly activates Rex. Liquid reveals that he has been impersonating Snake's advisor Master Miller, and that Foxhound has used Snake to facilitate Rex's launch. He and Snake are the product of the Les Enfants Terribles project, a 1970s government program to clone Big Boss. He also reveals to Snake the government's true reason for sending him, Snake is unknowingly carrying a weaponized Fox D virus that causes cardiac arrest in Foxhound members on contact, allowing the government to retrieve Rex undamaged. As Liquid, in Rex, battles Snake, Grey Fox appears, destroys Rex's radome, and is killed. Snake destroys Rex and defeats Liquid, then escapes with Meryl or Otakin via an underground tunnel, pursued by Liquid in a jeep. After their vehicles crash, Liquid pulls a gun on Snake, but dies from Foxty. Colonel Campbell, briefly ousted from command, calls off a nuclear strike to destroy evidence of the operation, and has Snake registered as killed in action to stop the US government searching for him. Naomi Hunter, who injected Snake with the Foxty virus, tells him that he has an indeterminate amount of time before it kills him. Ocelot calls the U.S. President. He was a double agent whose mission was to steal Baker's disc of Metal Gear specifications. Development Kojima initially planned the third Metal Gear game in 1994, originally titled Metal Gear 3, and to release it for the 3DO Interactive Multiplayer in 1994. Conceptual artwork by illustrator Yoji Shinkawa of the characters Solid Snake, Meryl Silverberg, who was also a character in the adventure game Police Noughts, and the Foxhound team were included in the Police Noughts pilot disc preceding the release of the full version of the 3DO game in 1995. However, due to the discontinuation of the 3DO from the market, development of the game shifted to the PlayStation shortly after Police Noughts was released. 
Kojima retitled the game Metal Gear Solid, choosing this over the working title Metal Gear 3. This was due to the fact that he believed that the MSX2 Metal Gear games were not well known at the time due to their lack of worldwide releases. He used the word, solid, which was chosen because the game uses 3D computer graphics, as well as being in reference to Solid Snake, the game's protagonist. Sequels to this game also use the Metal Gear Solid title, and generally follow a numeral progression. The development for Metal Gear Solid began in mid-1995, with the intention of creating the best PlayStation game ever. Developers aimed for accuracy and realism while making the game enjoyable and tense. In the early stages of development, the Huntington Beach SWAT team educated the creators with a demonstration of vehicles, weapons, and explosives. Weapons expert Motosad Amori was also tapped as technical advisor in the research, which included visits to Fort Irwin and firing sessions at Stembridge Gun Rentals. Kojima stated that, if the player isn't tricked into believing that the world is real, then there's no point in making the game. To fulfill this, adjustments were made to every detail, such as individually designed desks. Hideo Kojima created the characters of Metal Gear Solid. Modifications and mechanics were made by conceptual artist Yoji Shinkawa. According to Shinkawa, Solid Snake's physique in this particular installment was based on Jean-Claude Van Damme, while his facial appearance was based on Christopher Walken. The characters were completed by polygonal artists using brush drawings and clay models by Shinkawa. Kojima wanted greater interaction with objects in the environment, such as allowing the player to hide bodies in a storage compartment. Additionally, he wanted a full orchestra right next to the player, a system which made modifications such as tempo and texture to the currently playing track, instead of switching to another pre-recorded track. Although these features could not be achieved, they were implemented in Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Metal Gear Solid was shown to the public at E3 1997 as a short video. It was later playable for the first time at the Tokyo Game Show in 1998 and officially released the same year in Japan. With an extensive promotional campaign, television and magazine advertisements, in-store samples, and demo giveaways contributed to a total of $8 million in promotional costs. An estimated 12 million demos for the game were distributed during 1998. Music The musical score of Metal Gear Solid was composed by Konami's in-house musicians, including Kazuki Muraoka, Hiroyuki Togo, Takanari Ishiyama, Lee Jun Myung, and Maki Kirioka. Composer and lyricist Rika Muranaka provided a song called The Best Is Yet To Come for the game's ending credits sequence. The song is performed in Irish by Aoife Nifire. The main theme was composed by Tapi Iways from the Konami Kukeha Club. Music played in-game has a synthetic feel with increased pace and introduction of strings. During tense moments, with a looping style endemic to video games, overtly cinematic music, with stronger orchestral and choral elements, appears in cutscenes. The soundtrack was released on September 23, 1998, under the King Records label. Releases Metal Gear Solid was first released for the PlayStation in Japan on September 3, 1998. The game was available in a standard edition, as well as a limited, premium package edition sold in a large box that also contained a t-shirt, a pair of foxhound-themed dog tags, memory card stickers, an audio CD featuring the soundtracks from the MSX2 Metal Gear games. 
and a 40-page booklet titled Metal Gear Solid Classified featuring production notes, interviews with the developers, and a glossary of terminology in the game. The North American version was released a month later on October 20. Changes and additions were made to this version, such as a choice of three difficulty settings. When starting a new game, an alternate tuxedo outfit for Snake, and a demo theater mode, where the player views every cutscene and radio conversations relevant to the main story. Jeremy Blaustein, who previously worked on the English localization of Snatcher for the Sega CD, wrote the English version of the script. One change in the English script was the addition of Western sources and authors to Mei Ling's pool of motivational quotes. Originally the character only cited Chinese proverbs natively, providing an explanation afterward in Japanese, but this proved difficult to adapt. During the translation, the game's detected by Psychomantis, when he reads the player's memory card were also changed, due to certain titles not being released outside Japan. This resulted in Kojima's cameo being cut from the Western versions, as saved data from two PlayStation titles not available outside Japan. Snatcher and Police Noughts needed to be present on the player's memory card for this Easter egg to appear. The game was launched in Europe on February 22, 1999, with versions voiced in French, Italian, and German available in addition to English. A Spanish-dubbed version was later released on May 1. A limited premium package edition was also produced for the European market, similar to the one released in Japan, although the content differs significantly from its Japanese counterpart. The Japanese PlayStation version of Metal Gear Solid had been reissued twice, once under the Best Series and later as a PS1 Books title. Likewise, the American and European versions of Metal Gear Solid were reissued under the Greatest Hits and Platinum Rangers respectively. The game is included in the Japanese Metal Gear Solid 20th Anniversary Collection set and in the American Essential Collection set. The original Metal Gear Solid was released on the PlayStation Store for download on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable on March 21 in Japan and on June 18 in North America and on November 19 of the same year in Europe. Integral Released on June 25, 1999 for the PlayStation in Japan Metal Gear Solid Integral is an expanded edition of the game that features the added content from the American and European versions. It replaces the Japanese voices from the original version with the English dub, offering players a choice between Japanese and English subtitles during cutscenes and codec conversations. Further additional content to the main game include an alternate sneaking suit outfit for Meryl. A very easy difficulty setting where the player starts the mission armed with a suppressor-equipped MP5 submachine gun with infinite ammo. An eighth codec frequency featuring written staff commentary on every area and boss encounter hidden music tracks, an alternate game mode where the player controls Snake. From a first-person perspective, an option for alternate patrol routes for enemies, and a downloadable pocket station minigame. The torture event was also made easier on Hay difficulty levels, reducing the number of rounds to three per session in all settings. The VR training mode from the original Metal Gear, Solid has been expanded into 300 stages, which are now stored on a separate third disc known as the VR Disc. These new set of missions are divided into four main categories, Sneaking, Weapons, Advanced, and Special. The first three categories feature standard training exercises that test the player's sneaking, 
shooting and combat skills. While the fourth category contains less conventional tests involving murder mysteries, giant genome soldiers and flying sources, one particularly set of missions has the player controlling the cyborg ninja, which are unlocked by either completing a minigame on the pocket station and uploading the data to the VR disc or by achieving the Fox rank on the main game. Completing all 300 missions will unlock a concept artwork of Metal Gear Ray, a mech that would later appear in Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Additional content include preview trailers of Metal Gear Solid from trade events, and a photo shoot mode, where the player can take photographs of fully expressive polygonal models of Mei Ling and Dr. Naomi after completing the main game. For Mitsu Magazine rated Metal Gear Solid, Integral a 34 out of 40. The third disc from Integral was released as a standalone game in North America under the title of Metal Gear Solid VR Missions on September 23, 1999. While the content of VR Missions are virtually identical to Integral's VR Disc, the unlocking requirements for the Ninja Missions and the photo shoot mode were changed accordingly so that they no longer required save data from the main game or any use of the pocket station. The VR disc was also released in the PAL region as a data disc titled Metal Gear Solid Special Missions on October 29, 1999. Unlike the Japanese and American versions, Special Missions requires a PAL copy of the original Metal Gear Solid in order to be played. This change was done since the original Metal Gear Solid was released in multiple languages in Europe, and Special Missions determines the language it uses based on which version of the original game the player owns. When the Special Missions disc is loaded into the PlayStation console, the game will ask the player to switch the disc with the first disc from Metal Gear Solid in order to load voice and language data before asking the player to switch back to the Special Missions disc to start the game. This requirement renders Special Missions incompatible with PlayStation 2 consoles made prior to the SCPH-70000 model PC version the PC version of Metal Gear Solid was released in North America, Europe and Asia in late 2000. This version was published by Microsoft Game Studios and developed by Digital Dialect. It supports the use of a keyboard or a USB game controller with at least six buttons. It also supports direct 3D capable video cards, allowing for a high resolution of up to 1024 by 768. The PC version is simply labeled Metal Gear Solid on the packaging, but the actual game uses the Metal Gear Solid integral logo, although it has some differences as well from the PlayStation version of integral and lacks some of its content. The biggest change was reducing the number of discs from 3 to 2, which was done by giving each disc two separate executable files, one for the main game and the other for the VR training portion, thus eliminating the need for a standalone third disc. One notable omission was the removal of the cutscene prior to the Psycho Mantis battle in which he reads the player's memory card and activates the vibration function of the player's controller if a dual shock is being used. As this scene involved the use of PlayStation-specific peripherals, the method for defeating Mantis was also changed from using the second controller to simply using the keyboard. Other omissions include the removal of the eighth codec frequency, which featured written commentaries by the developers, Merrill's alternate sneaking suit outfit, and the mission logs when loading a save file. However, the PC version adds the option to toggle moving and shooting in first-person view mode at any time regardless of difficulty setting, and players can now save their progress 
at any point without contacting mailing through the use of quick saves. On the VR training portion, all 300 missions, as well as the photo shoot mode, are available. From the start, although the three unlockable preview trailers from the PlayStation version have been removed, scoring 83 in Metacritic's aggregate. The game was criticized for graphic glitches, the aged nature of the port, and being essentially identical to the PlayStation version. The Twin Snakes a remake of Metal Gear Solid, titled Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, was developed by Silicon Knights under the supervision of Hideo Kojima and released for the GameCube in North America, Japan, and Europe in March 2004. While Twin Snakes was largely developed at Silicon Knights, its cutscenes were developed in-house at Konami and directed by Japanese film director Ryohei Katamura, reflecting his dynamic signature style, utilizing bullet time photography, and choreographed gunplay extensively. While the storyline and settings of the game were unchanged, a variety of gameplay features from Sons of Liberty were added such as the first person aiming and hanging from bars on walls. Another change in the English voice acting was the reduction of Mei Ling's, Naomi's, and Nastash's accents, as well as the recasting of Grey Fox from Greg Eagles, who still reprises the role of the DARPA chief to Rob Paulson. The graphics were also updated to match those of Metal Gear Solid 2. Related Media a Japanese radio drama version of Metal Gear Solid, directed by Shuyo Murata and written by Motosada Mori, was produced shortly after the release of the original PlayStation game. Twelve episodes were aired, from 1998 to 1999 on Konami's Club DB program. The series was later released on CD as a two-volume series. Set after the events of the PlayStation game, Snake, Merrill, Campbell, and Mei Ling pursue missions in hostile Third World nations as Foxhound. The new characters introduced include Sergeant Alan Ishiba, a Delta Force operative who assists Snake and Merrill, Col. Mark Cortez, an old friend of Campbell who commands the fictional Asteria Army Special Forces, and Captain. Sergei Ivanovich, a former war buddy of Revolver Ocelot from his SVR days. In September 2004, IDW Publications began publishing a series of Metal Gear Solid comics, written by Chris O'Prisco and illustrated by Ashley Wood. As of 2006, 12 issues have been published, fully covering the Metal Gear Solid storyline. The comic was adapted into a PlayStation Portable game titled Metal Gear Solid Digital Graphic Novel. It features visual enhancements and two interactive modes designed to give further insight into the publication. Upon viewing the pages, the player can open a scanning interface to search for characters and items in a three-dimensional view. Discoveries are added to a database which can be traded with other players via Wi-Fi. The mission mode allows the player to add collected information into a library. This information must be properly connected to complete a mission. Metal Gear Solid Digital Graphic Novel was released in North America on June 13, 2006. Japan on September 21 and the PAL region on September 22. In 2006, the game received IGN's award for best use of sound on the PSP. A DVD video version is included with its sequel, which was released in Japan on June 12, 2008. The DVD version features full voice acting. A novelization based on the original Metal Gear Solid was written by Raymond Benson and published by Del Rey. The American paperback edition was published on May 27, 2008. 
and the British edition on June 5, 2008. A second novelization by Kenji Yano, titled Metal Gear Solid Substance I, was published by Kadokawa Shorten in Japan on August 25, 2015. This novelization is narrated through a text file written by a young man living in Manhattan in 2009. The story also acknowledges certain plot elements. From Metal Gear Solid V, the Phantom Pain regarding certain characters such as Liquid Snake and Psycho Mantis. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.